Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an Easter slash trinket basket. So first off you will need 46 craft lolly sticks, 2 pipe cleaners and some glue. I'm going to use my glue gun so that it makes it a lot faster. If you don't have a glue gun then that's fine, you can use PVA glue. But with using PVA glue, you need to leave it up to an hour to dry. So let's get started. So first off, you want to take 10 of your lolly sticks. And you want to place one just down sideways, like so. Then you want to take another lolly stick and your glue and just put a wee touch on the edge, like that. And you want to start with the corners first. Just hold it down for a wee second once you put it down. And then you want to do one at the other side. So, you try and make them straight as possible. Then, in between, there should be six going along. So, you've already got two. So, you want to try and fit another four in here. So, with fitting the other four in here, you want to just make it about a finger space like so so about that space just so you can slide your finger touching like that so you want to do that the whole way along doesn't want to stay. I'm just got the last bit on that. And one more. Like that. So then you want to turn it over so that you have the bottom piece facing you. This one wants, doesn't want to stay. So next, you want to make sure that you have about that much space all the way up, but just now I'm going to do the top so that it all stays together. Just put these dots of glue on there. If you're using the PVA, you're better using a glue spreader just to make sure you don't put too much on. Like so. So it kind of looks like a wee box with bars. And then you just want to place the other two around here. So, I'm 
doesn't matter if it's a bit squint because that is going this is going to be your base anyway so once you have done your last bit just look like that so you want to put this to the side for later next you want to take nine of your lollipop pop sticks and like before you just want to put one along the way like so and once again start from your corners it's similar to what we've just done but only it's with nine so like so Four. Look at that. Then again, turn it round, and this time you need to leave just a wee square, so just about here, I'll show you that in a wee second, once I have the wall pop sticker, like that, so just a wee square, then the next part, it's different from what you've done before. So instead of like leaving these squares, you leave a bigger space. So once I stick it down, it will look like that. So it looks kind of like a fence. Like so. So it'll look like that. Now you want to repeat that process three times more. So to make things a bit quicker so that it does it's not a really 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 long video. I've already made my other three. So now you want to take your base back and the bit that you put across the lollipop sticks you want to make sure that that's on top for inside in fact no turn it round and we'll just use this bit make things easier so you want the four to face on to your surface and you want to take your first part of your basket and just run along the wee dimples of the lollipop sticks little dollops of glue and you want the three lollipop sticks to face it out the way so that and just sit on top until dries like so and then turn it round and do the same again just along the bumpy bits I need another wee glue stick Like so, and again, just along this part here. If you find it doesn't fit, that's fine. You can just push it out a wee bit and then shove it on the side. 
and on the corner to a big doll to floor. This should hold it in place. Try and let's spread it round so that it stays with the other parts. Then, I'll let that dry. While that's drying, we'll do that process with the fence part again. So you're going to do this the whole way through until you've made like your square basket. And I'll show you what to do next. Same process. Big doll up in the middle so that it joins all the corners together. Like so now with the next part. It is easy but hard. So once you have this down, turn it upside down as well. If you see little spaces when you're doing this, just fill them in along the way. It'll make it a lot stronger as well. Now if you are using a glue gun and you get the little strings of glue, just leave them to the end and once everything's dry, you can take them off. So now, I'll just leave that side to dry. You want to take like your open corners and just hold them closed. And with the joint parts, oh, mine's is moving. It doesn't want to stay. Just run some glue down the joint parts. And hold till dry. That should be that part, and just carry that on all the way around. If it moves in a bit, just move it back out 
and hold them in place. Then As you're going round, you will feel it getting harder and harder. If it gets too hard, then you can use like a really thin piece of your glue spreader as it's more thinner than anything else. If you're already using a glue spreader, then you're smart. So now I'm on the last bit, which is a bit hard because look, it's not going to stay. So I'll need to hold this bit longer than usual. Put another wee glue stick in. If you want to give it that wee bit more stability, you can also do the inside as well. This should stick now. No, still too hot. should be it now and there's your basket now next you want to take your two pipe cleaners and you want to hold the end of the two of them together and twist them this is just to give it a two colour effect before you use it as a handle so and then with your glue gun just in this wee bit here which is in between both sides yeah you want to put a dollop of glue on the inside And then you just put your two B things on it. And for extra stability, just put a big dollop of glue on top. And that should dry within seconds. If it's PVA glue that you're using, then you can just wrap your pipe cleaners round and then glue it. I'll do the other side while I'm holding that side.
like so. And there you have it, your very own Easter basket slash trinket basket. Hope you have fun making yours and I can't wait to see them all. Bye!